barbecue my way. We are cooking indoors, not barbecuing today because it's hot, 105 degrees, really, really bad. So we are making uh, seared salmon and I am in charge of the zucchini fritters. It's summer, you have tons of zucchini and what do you do with it? This is a great thing. You fry it. You fry it. Everything is good fried. Um, so we have already about a cup and a half of shredded zucchini and everybody knows how to do this. You just take a box grater and you do that. Making sure you keep your fingernails away because nobody wants a piece of fingernail in their zucchini fritter. So you do this until you have about two cups, which is about two medium zucchini. Is there anything you'd pieces. like your fingernails in? Actually, really no. Okay. Like the only time I want my fingernail trimmed is in the hands of a manicurist, pretty much. Okay. Okay, so I do that. I'm already working up a sweat in this 105 degree heat, but I'll, I'll muddle through here. Okay, in a bowl, you put a quarter, no, sorry, one third cup of baking mix, like Bisquick, Martha White, whatever baking mix you have. About a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese, grated. And we're using cayenne pepper. You just want to put a little sprinkle in there. Spice give it, it little, up, spice give it up. Give it a little heat. This is pretty potent, so we're talking just a sprinkle, which is maybe, what do you think that is, Dave? Eighth, Eighth of a cup. Or, Eighth of a cup. <laughs> Eighth of a yeah. teaspoon. Eighth of a cup might be a bit of an overkill. <clears throat> and just mix this together. I'm gonna break up those chunks of baking mix that sometimes clump. All right, then you have a beaten egg, actually two lightly beaten eggs. I'm gonna pour that in, mix that all around, just until it's combined. And then we're gonna add our zucchini. Put in a pinch more, there we go. And I'm also going to get just a little bit of salt. So we're gonna take our zucchini, whoops, I better add that in. And our salt, whoops, I'm not very prepared. We need just a little bit of salt. That's about maybe a half a teaspoon. Okay, so we add our two cups or so of zucchini. We're gonna mix that around. So this is going to be really heavy in zucchini versus other fritters that are kind of doughy. This is a lot of zucchini. This is a lot of zucchini to a little bit of flour right, and which, cheese. So it's going to be pretty healthy, yeah. really. And what a great way to use up that zucchini. Right. So even, this is a sneaky way to get kids to eat zucchini also. You know, zucchini bread is delicious, but it's really fattening. This is delicious yeah. and not so bad on the hips. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Then you're going to heat up a griddle pan, or you could, if you don't have a griddle pan, just use a skillet. Then you're gonna heat that up to, if it's a griddle pan, about 350. Okay, should we take a break and come right back? Come right back. Okay, we kinda, I just took a little bit of butter and, and just basically melt it over your griddle. Use butter, because it just tastes good, and that's not a lot of butter, so don't freak out about it. And then you're going to lay about two tablespoons or so of your batter down to spread it out a little bit, like that. And we're using a griddle pan because we can just get more on there. Okay, uh, it's been about four minutes and you can see around the edge that it's, you know, it, it started to set up, starting to set up real well. So um, you just wanna flip them over. They look beautiful, they look perfect. And you're going to cook them maybe another three minutes. Get over there, buddy. On the other side. And then we'll show you what we're going to do to keep them warm while we get our salmon cooking. About three minutes. So we are taking them off. And we're placing them on a tray because, and then putting them in the oven to keep them warm, just a low 
oven, 175 or so. Or we could have set them outside. Yeah, since it's 105. That's a good point. So we'll right. put those in the oven. Keep we'll be warm. back and get a taste test from Liz and see what she says. Yeah. Very delicious.